Hi, I'm Patrice Thatcher from College of the Siskiyous, and if you're watching this video clip, either you're totally lost and just messing around on YouTube, or you've been assigned to watch it from one of my classes in the Early Education and Child Development program. The concept that I'm going to talk about briefly is Piaget's stages of cognitive development, and specifically the concept of adaptation, which includes assimilation and accommodation. First thing, as you probably know if you're an ECE major or in ECE classes, Piaget is the theorist that we refer to most often in our classes as the authority on the stages of cognitive development. Young children travel through various stages at which they understand the world in different ways. During the first stage of cognitive development, the sensory motor stage, they understand the world through using their senses and through using movements. So for a very young child, from birth until maybe 18 months or so. What they can see, smell, taste, hear, touch, taste is what they know. They don't have a hard drive which keeps those memories in their what, repertoire for understanding things. So very young children know what is there in front of their face, in front of their eyes, in front of their nose, in front of their mouth. That's why to understand something, they're going to put it in their mouth. They're going to taste it. They're going to feel it. They're going to move around as they understand. Slightly older children move on to the stage of, um, they move from sensory motor thought to pre-operational thought, where they begin to have symbols to help them remember what they have seen so they can refer back to what has happened. They can remember how something smelled, tasted, looked, um, um, sounded to them in the past. During the stage of pre-operational thought, they begin to use symbols. They begin to understand that the word cat stands for that fuzzy animal. My cat just jumped off the top of the dresser next to me, so I can't show him to you. They begin to understand later that the letters C-A-T make the sounds c a t and that sound, that stands for the word cat, which also stands for that funny animal with the slinky tail. So that's a really fast introduction to Piaget's stages, the first two stages of cognitive development. However, what I specifically want to talk about is the concept of adaptation and assimilation and accommodation. Piaget says we learn through adaptation. We start out with those birth reflexes that you learn about in child development and human development, and we adapt upon those in order to begin true learning, to begin true thought that isn't just a reflex. It might be a reflex to suck on anything that comes within a quarter inch of our mouth when we're a newborn, but after a while we learn, hey, a way to understand something is to suck on it. So we suck on the breast, we suck on the nipple, and we suck on the rattle. Rattles aren't made for sucking, but that's how young children understand them. So during the first stage of um, cognitive development, during the sensory motor stage, we adapt based on birth reflexes. The first kind of adaptation that we look at is indeed assimilation. Assimilation is the baby who has learned that it really works to suck on a nipple. I get something to eat. I get nourishment. I get comfort. So when you hand me a rattle, I suck on it. And it's great because that's what I know how to do. And after a while, I suck on it again, and then I move my hand because I like have these reflexes that make me jerk, and it shakes. And I suck on it again, I move my hand again, and it shakes. And then you hand me a rattle, and I hold it, and I might shake it before I actually suck on it. So sucking on the rattle, as if it were a nipple, is assimilation. But the next stage of adaptation is accommodation. Instead of sucking on the rattle, we shake it. And then I always use the examples in my classes of driving a car. Okay, I have adapted over the years, because I've been around a really long time, to how I drive a car. Used to be in the olden days, my dad would give me the keys to the bright orange Jeep that I used to, not Jeep, um, pickup truck that I used to drive. And I put the keys in the ignition, I turned it on, and it was in fact not an automatic, so I had to shift it. But I would use those keys to turn on this car. And over the years, keys turned out to be a really good way of understanding how to drive a car. There came a time, my husband is really a car person, 
decided we were going to have different kinds of cars, more modern kinds of cars, cooler kinds of cars. And he bought cars which had those little key fob things. And weird, you could put the key fob in your purse and the car's door would open and you could press a button and the car's motor would start. But every time I walked out to that car, I would trash around in my purse looking for the keys because I still thought I needed a key. Then after a while, I was assimilating. I was looking for the old way of doing a new thing or the old way of doing something I already knew. But pretty soon I began to accommodate and I'd be so cool. I'd take my purse out and I'd throw it into the passenger seat and I'd get in the car and I'd push the button and I'd drive away. But then I also had my old Jeep which I still love to drive. And some days, even now, I walk out to the Jeep and I try to open the door and I realize, oh my goodness, I need a key to open the door. So I have to accommodate myself to a new or different situation. So punchline here is Piaget studied cognitive development. There are many stages of cognitive development, but in early education classes, we focus on the sensory motor and the pre-operational stages typically. And Piaget says, we learn cognitively through adaptation. Adaptation has two parts. Assimilation, that's using a new thing in an old way because it works for you, trying to suck on the rattle or trying to use the keys in the um, car that really just needs the key fob. Assimilation, we try those old ways of work in the world first, and then we accommodate ourselves. Assimilation is adaptation. Assimilation is making the world work, understanding the world. Accommodation is the beginning of true learning. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video clip, post it. Ooh, sorry about the thumb thing.